What is going on guys? Welcome back for more UFC Undisputed 3. Let's go on with this title fight. There's no way I'm... Oh, you can attend the Wayne's. Let's do that Wayne's stuff again. I like watching this stuff. Like during um, the events, I always watch the weigh-ins before I watch the actual uh, event. Obviously, it comes on the day before, so you can watch it. You don't have to, but I always watch them. It's very important to watch it, man. To see how the fighters come out. They come overweight, and you know they've got a conditioning problem. I bet in a new one, they're going to make you do all this weight, uh, weight loss training before the weigh-ins are saying. I haven't looked into the new UFC that much, but I assume there's going to be a lot more in depth. Michael Bisping, man, a champion. Never, never a champion, never. He used to fight at 205 back in the days. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening. The title is on the line. It's going to be one incredible fight, folks. This means always talking smack at the Williams. Always. Not this time though, he's just posing. And now it's time for our main event of the evening. Next, it's a middleweight title fight. Middleweight title fight. Here we go, man. Fighting out of the blue corner is Shaolin. A versatile fighter from Manchester, England. Michael Bisping won the Ultimate Fighter Season 3 and went undefeated in his first 15 professional fights. An accomplished kickboxer who is effective in utilizing the ground and pound, Bisping has the skills to compete against the best talent in the middleweight division. It's funny seeing Bisman with a towel, because he's never going to win a towel. He'll never win it. In his last performance with Tim Kennedy as well, that was such a shame. I actually had him winning that fight. Like, stylistically, he should have won that fight. But who's getting out strike? Who's getting out struck? Doesn't make any sense, man. It's like he's digressing. Horrible Our performance by Bisman. is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. 31 right now. Ladies and gentlemen. That's crazy. This man is a striker. And now, introducing the... And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is... Here you go, guys. Are you ready? I'm ready. O2 Arena, London, England. Here we go, man. Like I said, I've been and to this arena twice Joe, for two UFC events in UFC 85 and 120. He's back. Actually, uh, saw Bisping as the main event, the and I saw time. him at well, eight, uh, UFC so 85 too against uh, Jason Day. Is it Jason Doomsday? But yeah, he was in the main here. event at UFC and 120 against really Yoshihiro Akiyama. How different his approach is tonight. So I've seen him twice in person. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh yeah. Hello. Got him pressed up against the cage here. Man, they're pummeling Ugh. back and forth. It's hard ah. to see who has the edge here. I have the edge. Or not. The half guard. Damn, man. Posture's up. Get off and me. Back to full guard. He lets him up. Oh, no. And another left hand. Under three minutes Come on, now. Bisbing, I'm gonna take that belt from you. No more nice messing around. Shot and then hook combination. Oh, oh man. Oh, he's 
answers. Oh, oh shit. shit. Jesus Christ. Trying to punish the midsection. Go for that damn uh, body, man. Tired that cardio. banging on the inside, Mike. V hits a knee on me, I'm done. Oh, big head kick. Man, I missed it again. Oh, good counter. Damn, he's dodging those attacks. Ah! Take down. Body shot. Got him. Pushing his opponent away. Drop down for a double. Oh no, no Again, chance. The takedown is stuffed. And now he's answered. Oh man. Oh, those are vicious. No way I'm giving up this opportunity, man. Oh, I feel I might lose again. I keep saying that and I get jinxed. Excellent combination. 45 seconds remains in the nope. first round. I bet keep spacing. Shit, man. He's blocking everything. Kick. Yeah, Mixing combinations right there, man. Go for that damn kicks. leg. I might have lost that round, you know, because of uh, the fact that I got knocked down. Round one is complete. Damn, the man. Is on its feet. These two fighters kept it standing, and they went to it war. Seems a lot jump. harder when they've got when I'm fighting for the title. It seems like they've changed the difficulty from like normal to like ridiculously Let's hard. Just like the fighting a lot smarter. Like with Okami, like he, that's the reason why he knocked me out because I felt it was a lot harder. This one feels a lot harder too because of the title fight. We start round two. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just in my head. I got look. It's like they're blocking more. Joe mixing up his strikes very well. Uh, nope, that's not it. Jesus Christ! Trying to get no, 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 a chance. Stuffed. Nice outside leg kick. Got the double underhooks. Double on the hooks, double on the hook. This bitch. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get him up. Oh, ragdoll him. Oh shit. He's looking to take him down. He gets mounted. Oh, the double underhook didn't work that time. He's on top. He's got his back. Get off me. Ooh, we hit that. To the leg of his opponent. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. You're damn right. Oh, nice body shots. No. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Nice high kick. He's got the oh, no, almost, almost. Almost caught him off guard there. Under three okay. Minutes now. Shit. Oh, big left He's got the clinch. Ugh. Oh, nice, nice knee. knee. Couple of good knees there. Double underhooks. They're not letting them get me, man. Uh. Uh, uh. Uh. Uh, mm, those knees. Oh God! Protect that. Protect my head, man. Damn head. He shoots. Ah, he's trying to shoot on me. Good takedown defense. Oh come on! Stopped. Inside with the clinch again. Ugh. Man, that knee landed heavy. Ninety seconds remains in the second. Might have won this round. Who knows? Good body shot. Pushes okay. Off of the feet. There we go. Nice Finally, man. My first takedown. Not gonna let him. Ah, he got out. Shit. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, nice kick. Jesus Christ. Now oh. looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Don't have it. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Get away from the damn cage, man. Stop pushing me. Nice head kick. Two rounds in the books. Oh, I lost my oh, nah, man. That's why you don't see me get records because I can get countered at any point. Striking, Joe. My head's not in good condition right now. I think it's like maybe half injured now. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. I think you snapped my head back. Look, look. There, there. Damn, man. And look at the speed on this takedown here. Why is this so biased towards me? I thought I did more damage in that fight. Right. In that round. Are you ready? Are you ready? I guess I was wrong. Maybe I've lost that round too. And we are set for the start of round three. This oh. is a championship fight. So it is okay. scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. There we go again. Away. Again with the 
leg kicks. Body shot. Oh, oh man. He's got him back, drives him back again. Oh. Oh, to the midsection. Okay. Nice, nice. There we go. Nice double leg. Yes. He's got side control. He's got half guard. He's in full guard here. Oh, get up. Oh, and punishing the midsection. Boom. Total control from the top position. He ain't that one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Come on, hammer him, hammer him. Oh, that's yes. a good shot. Oh, he's hurt. I'm going to win a title. He's bad. He got blasted. Oh, no. Oh, get me out. He needs the help, man. He's in desperate mode now. For Michael Bisping. Not a chance in hell. Fighter on the bottom. And, oh, he yes. Again. He ate that one. Oh. Oh, he recovers. Oh, crap. Hey, I didn't know he had that. I thought only wrestlers had that. Again, the chance for Michael Bisping. Oh, come on, Bisping. I've got to take the shots. Oh, they're going to close it up again right to the clinch. Ooh. And again he goes for a ride. Into full guard here. Side control. Half guard. Into his guard. I'm winning this fight, man. Huh? Could be a 10-8 right now. This is a 10-8 right now. Side control. What damage, Half man. Guard. Into the guard. Ooh. Pushing his opponent away. Bis oh, oh yeah, come on! Oh, he's still standing. One knocked out. Finishes it with the right hand. I can be Bisping, but I can't be Okami. That's my title, man. We have a. Look how he throws his body into that. Connects and just puts him to sleep. That Perfect one put him to sleep, I believe. Look, he's still standing timing. there. Perfect execution and a huge victory. The referee comes in late. Here we see it again. Instantaneous and right hook, victory. bam! Right straight. It's not even a hook. Look at that, straight right hand there. Watch it again, Joe. Wow! Right on the button. That's crazy, man. That's messed up. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at three minutes. 36 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, and now, the new UFC middleweight champion of the world, David Shaolin Nakamura. Shaolin, your new UFC champion. Finally, it took about 20 years. Where's my um? Where's my interview with Joe Rogan? <laughs> my sponsors, THQ, the makers of the game, the publishers. Damn, that's pretty tough. Like the first round, I, I, I lost. Second round is pretty arguably arguable, and the third round, domination. That's crazy, man. Very rarely in life do you get an opportunity to to do things twice. When I fought Hughes for the first fight and I got beat by Hughes, and you know I thought that was it. I'll never get another shot at a world title again. I almost retired from the sport shortly thereafter because I couldn't find any more fights. And now I'm completely away from the sport. I come back, and within a year after I come back to mixed martial arts, now I'm fighting for another world title. So that was a, that was a phenomenal opportunity. A week before I fought Kenny, I completely tore my shoulder. I ended up fighting with the torn shoulder, but it wasn't an option I had to. So I had surgery as soon as the fight was over. Early in the second round, I ended up getting cut over the head. So I fought three and a half rounds with a, with a cut that the fight could have been stopped at any point in time. So I'm fighting the entire time, just waiting for the referee to pull me off and say, that's it, the fight's over, you're cut. I overcame a lot of adversity, and I was, I was just so happy. I don't think I stopped smiling for a couple of weeks. Hard work pays off, you know, and it did. Sean the Muscle Shook. He, he lost his belt to um, BJ Penn. Uh, that was a vicious uh, fight, man. Domination by BJ Penn. Congratulations, champ.
you've achieved what every fighter dreams about, a UFC title. You'll now be facing the very best talent the division has to offer. You're well on your way to earning a spot in the UFC Hall of Fame. But this takes more than just victories. Winning of the night and of the year awards adds to your legacy. So keep up the good work and continue to dominate. And one day, you may just be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Awesome, awesome. Let's schedule a fight. I still get to pick my opponents, which is crazy. A title fight. I can defend or I can find a new division for a new title or find pride against. No, I want to fight Mark Munoz for the title. I want to defend it. Get the game plans and never do the game plans. All right, let's attend the weigh ins again, I guess. Attending two weigh ins in one video. Wow, very not that important to attend the weigh ins, really. The contender. Look at Joe Rogan, man. Looks like he's a. Uh... <laughs> Looks hider. Thank you guys for attending. No, nope, this. Uh... Let's just go into casual again. He's gonna get his ass whooped in about three minutes. Give me three minutes, man. So I got to defend, and then got to do. I got to do a lot of feet to add to my legacy, which is uh, to get Hall of Fame. It's not gonna be easy. You can miss out on that. I'm not sure how long I can be fighting for as well. I didn't even win a title in the WFA. I was looking up on that, and uh, I think I joined the UFC a bit too. Coming up next, it's a middleweight uh, what happened there? Between... Did I skip something? A former light heavyweight, the Filipino wrecking machine, Mark Munoz, now dominates his opponents as a middleweight. With ruthless strikes on the ground and an ever-improving stand-up game, this NCAA national champion wrestler is looking to smash his way to the top of the 185-pound division. Standing a... <laughs> I should make quick work of this guy, but I'm not sure if... I'm this is my first time defending, so it might just be as hard as winning the title of someone. They might up their game, the difficulty is probably harder. Who knows? Let's find out. He can turn his towel, uh, these entrances off. Our tale of the take is brought to you by Boost Mobile. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is a mixed martial and now. Introducing the chat, and when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Look how big I look, man. He's pretty big all as well. Right. This is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. Michael. Here you go, guys. Mark Are you ready? Are you ready? We're ready. We are ready. And here we go. go. Joe, how do you see this matchup going for Shaolin tonight? He's defending his new middleweight title for the very first time. 
Yeah, and you know, Mike, a lot of people oh. don't consider a fighter the champ until he's defended the title at least once. Let's see if he can pull it off. Can I pull it off? This is Mark Munoz we're talking Pushing about here. his opponent away. He decides to let him up. You can't underestimate him. Nice double leg. Ugh. Ugh. This is the way I beat Bisbing. He loves throwing that punch. And oh, he's big done. shot from the top. Oh, oh not yet, not yet, not yet. And he snapped back really quick. He hammer fist in him. Oh, oh. Wow, that right hand. Don't have any submissions from his uh, back. Body shot. Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious oh, snap. This is nasty. Oh, he's not done yet. Ah, come in. on. Nice job, double leg. Wow, man. Good off. Pushes him off of the feet. The clinch. Ooh. Not yet. It's a Damn! All he needed was a little bit of leverage, Joe. And this fight ends up on the ground again. Transitions to the I'm going to try and knock him out in full mount. As long as he doesn't. Ah, Two minutes it's interesting. remains in round number one. And now he's inside control. He's lasted longer than I expected. Oh, nice left and a right. Under 90 seconds remains in round okay. one. Back to the oh, I can't even defend against that. Takedowns here. Shaolin is starting to gas here. Down right he is. Pushing his opponent away. Oh! Just about one minute remains in the first round. Stuffed. All right, stuffed her. Oh. It looks like Munoz is cut. His cardio is pretty good. 30 seconds remains in the round. Nice combination. Nice combination, man. Oh, Might survive, 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 survive the first round. Wow, he's really working the body here, Mike. And that's the end of round one. Wow, this is already my top pick for fight of the night. These guys are throwing everything they have at each other. Right. Striking, right. grab. Those hammer fists are doing big damage. Yeah, I've been rocking them so many times with that. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. We saw some vicious ground and pound. This is the first big shot that landed. And look at this. Wow. Both fighters landing shots. Perfect Damn. technique. You want the fight? You're going to go win this round? You got the fight. Win this round. You win this round? There's Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? We're ready. We start round two. Let's go, this on. fight's scheduled for five. Five-minute rounds. <laughs> he went for a knee like I was going to go for a takedown. Oh, I didn't go to takedown. I don't need a takedown against you. He is teeing off right now. Oh shit. Oh, answered by Hopefully my chin's good, shot. man. Duck under and work the body, Joe. He ate that one. Push kick. Ugh. Oh, good front kicks. Those front kicks up. Oh, the knee. Just punishing him. Yeah. Oh, good combination. Oh, you know that nice straight. Counter, nice counter right yeah. Oh, another, another one. Big strike. Oh. Come on, bitch. Oh, he recovers. Oh. Again, he takes him down. Get off, man. Stick it to me Push like glue. Off of the feet. Oh. Nice. Right back on the attack. Nice front kick. Those front kicks are doing oh, damage, man. Look at those kicks. <laughs> Take that. Again, he works the legs. I ain't working the legs. Oh, there we go, man. Vicious, man. What a performance. He defends the UFC middleweight title. And here we see it. Just look at the timing. Round Absolutely the money. spectacular finish. Good God. Doesn't get any better than that. 
That is what you call a knockout. And again, and here's the knockout blow. What a great job. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. What a fight. It was a lot more competitive than I expected. Really good, really good. Knockout of the night, damn. I never st still don't have a submission of the night yet. Almost got a million credits. Got about 900,000 now. The UFC Hall of Fame honors men who gave something special to the sport. Men like Hoist Gracie, who brought jiu-jitsu to the masses, won three UFC tournaments, and went undefeated in his first 11 octagon fights. Dan the Beast Severn, who showed how truly dominant pure wrestling can be. Mark the Hammer Coleman, the first UFC heavyweight champion and the godfather of what is now known as ground and pound. Chuck the Iceman Liddell, the former light heavyweight champion who power punched his way to seven straight knockout victories from 2004 to 2006. And Matt Hughes, the two-time welterweight champion who dominated the division for half a decade. You are among true legends of the sport. Congratulations on your induction into the UFC Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's a shame, but uh, all those guys got beat by guys later on because uh, everyone's evolving, man. I mean, Chuck Liddell, he got knocked out several times. Matt Hughes couldn't win a damn fight after a while. They were getting old at the same time, but then again, I think it was more to do with the fact that fighters were more evolved as the sport was uh, going on. Because back then, they were being guys who were still one-dimensional. One fight of the fight of the year. Okay, so I've got a whole fame stuff. Uh, let me check that before I end the video. Uh, here we go. Enter the Hall of Fame with a fighter in career mode. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm not sure how you end it. I think you just retire. I think you can retire like that. I'm pretty sure you can just retire. Why would I want to retire though? That's the thing. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys next time for more UFC Undisputed 3. Hope you guys enjoyed that first title defense. Peace guys.